hello everyone continuation to the previous session today we will discuss about error handling in any industry some softwares to be installed on the server so any error may occur that what may be the reason error occur so that errors are stored in one centralized location here for example slash tmp is 90% of the full so it's not the error but a x shows it's an error it's just a warning but here it's an error mm, server is slow what may be the reason there are so many reasons so all the errors are captured by using error pt command let's see error pt so here so many errors so by default uh, the daemon is automatically started at this time of boot up ps and ef grep error daemon ESR lib error daemon is initiated by the init command error pt or here identifier uh, this is a just we need to identify time stop at what time the error got appear, appeared uh, t means a type of error P means permanent, T means temporary, I means just information. C is a class, whether it is a software error, optional error, or hardware error. And resource name is uh, what type of resource it is. Here SRC means uh, system resource center. And the last is a description. Here, all logs are stored at one centralized location that is where ADM RAS ERR log. This is the file. This is the file. ERR PT is the command to read the content of this one. ERR PT is just read the content what it has of where ADM RES log. Here, where ADS REM logs are written by USR lib ERR daemon. what error demon will do it's just take the error anything happens it got error just take that error put it in a error log file when we type error pt command then only the error will shows here error log components first error demon will start at the time of initial boot up time only so this thing will this command is executed by default at this time of boot up where lib error daemon what it will do any errors it occurs then capture that error and put it in a var adm res log file so how to see this one using error pt command by using smitty or whatever we can directly enter error pt command we will get the output this error logger and error clear we will discuss later uh, this is the template this is the class files of uh, this error demands the template and error stop we can stop the uh, using a error pt command so once we get the we got the notification you uh, we can get the we can do the diagnostics modify so we will see what is error log and what is error clear and detail 
here errpt it will just display the all the errors using errpt hyphen a pipe more here we will get detailed description here at what time it happened the sequence number machine id and the resource type probable cause file system full so this is also it take the one type of error when we press shift uh, spacebar we'll jump into the new errors use k and l up and down arrows suppose we need to generate manually our error log using error logger is the command to type anything from text to message so how to see errpt hyphen a pipe more this command this is the description is operational notification only initiated by error log command that is here the message when it happened just now only date error pt fn capital a it will display all the errors in the short form for example we need to copy that var adm ras error log to another location slash tmp error underscore log now we need to see only the content of this one here we type error cat we will get the error it's a unknown it's a format is differ using error pt hyphen i is a command to list the content of here see we need to search using error pt hyphen error pt hyphen d capital h we did not get any hardware errors so that's why yes these are the software software program errors fn h means hardware s means software o means optional fn r o see this all these are optional operational sorry now i need to see only error bit uh, hardware software error using detail i find d capital s all the errors of software in detailed error error pt i find d h there is no hardware errors okay error pt fn more here this is the type right we have temporary is the one type permanent is the one type p r e f performance of a component pending unknown information messages let's see what are those e r r pt hyphen capital t temp files these are all the temporary error logs info all these are the informational errors here i need to display only particular time for example error pt hyphen s dd mm sorry mm dd hh mm yy from here to here all the errors the time stamp is 03 11 2024 to 18th march March 18th, right? Okay. 
so one more thing here i need err pt s only 18th march from here starting from here to up to date uh, one second let's another try from 14th to there is no 14th is here here are here are pt hyphen s see from 14th to 18th now i need to clear error logs error pt hyphen sorry error clear clear we can mention hyphen d type hardware errors i need to clear at zero actually there is no hardware errors error pt hyphen d h hyphen s we have three software errors let's clear error clear hyphen d s zero so here nothing now i need to clear all the errors error clear zero so here all the errors are zero here nothing for example if we modify anything on the var error pt i i we can use this one also var adm r a s e error log here nothing if we modify anything like this now error logger is a command we manually generate uh, after touch error pt so here the logger unexpected end of file unable to process the error log file var adm res here what happened we manually modified this file so that's why errors are not present in this file so in that case what we do just stop the daemon usr lib error stop usr lib error daemon for that let's remove this file rm and again yes sir lib error stop yes sir lib error daemon yes error logger after remove the file here are pt now we can get that here are pt fna yes this one this thing is automatically generated now usr lib here are demand what it contains fnl is the command see here this is the log file name the size buffer size and some parameters so we need to modify all this also we can able to modify whatever we need slash usr lib error demand fni now i am going to change new error file so here now onwards error files are stored here let's confirm this one 
and also error logger just testing testing purpose error pt error pt fn a more testing purpose okay so one more thing error pt fn i we need to read the this file we did not get that testing purpose error pt fn a i where adm r a s e r r here the a only uh, i means uh, we need to insert that file so that's why that one after testing uh, this is not appeared here right Okay, error pt hyphen a more here yeah, the testing purpose only. Yeah, now here open okay. we need to change some buffer size using fn b command log size using fn yes command. Let's see, yes, sir lib error demon fnl er yes sir lib error demon hyphen s let's assume one seven Log size it got changed. Buffer means uh, when we stop the error pt, then that time onwards errors appear uh, that will store in a buffer. Once error pt starts, uh, what are the collection I mean buffer? Those are copied into the uh, log file. Here, a duplicate removal is true. So, for example, we don't want True, we need to maintain duplicate also. Yes, or lib error demon fn small d. Sorry, we need to stop that one now. Yes, sir. Lib error stop. then start now here false once we need to stop esr lib daemon capital d means enable true see here true before it falls this interval we can change using fn t and the error maximum this one we can change using fn m <laughs>